howdy howdy everybody it's been a while since i did a painting video so i figured i'd do one um <clears throat> i did a crazy thing the other day i sold off all my crankbait blanks and just decided all i'm gonna do is swim baits and glide baits and work on my own wooden baits and stuff from time to time but anyway um i had a big order put in for over 20 of these swim baits and I have this big big bag of them just plumb full of these big 5 inch bluegill swim baits um, the guy wants 10 bluegills and, and just 10 perch patterns so I'll probably do another video on one of just the regular old plain perch patterns that I do but we're gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all a new bluegill pattern that I've been painting then I'll probably do another video. Um, I'm going to paint a golden trout for a guy up in Oregon. He's another one of my customers. Orders lots of, of trout bait. But we're going to paint a golden trout pattern on this one for him after I get these 20 done. And this is a big 8 inch trout glide from Backwater Outfitters that I get from them. These are really good glide baits, but anyway, it comes with the fins, tails, you gotta put those in. And I usually put those in before I paint them, then that way when I epoxy them, it, those fins and stuff will be epoxied in and they won't go anywhere. So anyway, and I just paint the fins. I don't, I don't clear coat them or anything, I just paint them and, you know, eventually the water will wash off the paint, but that's all right. Still makes them look good for a little while. But anyway, that's what. So I, I'll be pumping out a few videos here, and this probably this week actually, because I, I plan on getting all this done this week, probably within the next couple of days. But anyway, we're gonna start off with this new bluegill pattern and. Whenever I upload this video and everything, I'll show the picture of the bluegill that we're going to paint. And then I'm just going to show y'all how I paint this pattern. So anyway, I already went over him with base coat, base coat of um, Wicked OPEC White, which is W030. And that was my base coat. And then we went over it with um I already threw it back in my box we went back over it with um pearl white and I, oh there it is with um we went we went over the white with wicked pearl white which is 0301 so sprayed about two coats of the pearl white on him so anyway our next color that we're gonna do is gonna be this Createx Pearlized Pearl Magenta. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna spray this just kind of right right just down here at the bottom and just a little bit there. And that's what we're gonna start with because then we want to blend everything. So let me get all this yuck pulled off the top of this bottle and we'll get going they don't take eh, it takes a little bit to paint this pattern I mean it, it's not a hard pattern to paint once you get it down but it takes a minute there's a couple of drops of the pearl pearl magenta so we're just going to spray the bottom part of his belly. Just kind of like that. And then we're just going to spray just a little bit right there. Okay. Then we'll do this other side. And we're just going to spray that right
that's all for that. We'll clean this out and I'll be right back. Alright, now we're going to take this Wicked Pearl White again, and we're going to put two or three drops in here, and then we're going to go over that pink and that blue as soon as we get all that water out, but we're just going to run this over that pink and that blue just to kind of mute it down just a little bit. We just, we, we don't want that just super bright. Then I'm going to take and heat set that real quick and be right back. Okay, we got all that done. So right now we're going to go with this Createx Transparent. And it is the red oxide. And it is 5136. <clears throat> Put a few drops in there. So then we're going to take and we're going to just do his throat area. Kind of down on the bottom part of that gill plate. Around that hook hanger and then just right in there. So then we'll go all the way up to the fin. And if a little of that gets on the pink, it's alright. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Then we're going to heat set that. Okay, then we're going to spray a little bit more just to darken it up. Then we're going to heat set that, but that's about what we want right there. Okay, now we're going to take this pearlized copper and spray over the, the top of him and through the midsection. And we'll probably spray it on the gill plate and stuff, but we'll cover that on the gill plate. <clears throat> so anyway... And this doesn't just have to be perfect or anything. I mean, you kind of want it to go down into the blue and the pink and kind of gives it that more natural look to him.
Then we kind of want that copper look too. I think we got him pretty good. We'll go down the center. We'll go down his back again. This Createx opaque yellow, it's 5204, <clears throat> and then I took and thinned it out with Createx colors 4011 reducer. Thinned it out pretty thin because I don't want it to cover the copper up. We want that copper to come through. So what we're gonna do is just. We're just going to do a little bit of yellow on that copper. And we're doing this while it's still wet. Because we want that to blend. So. There. We want it just like that. <clears throat> to where it kind of has that yellowish copperish look to it. So I'll clean this out. We'll be Alright. And there's the, the perfect blend that we're looking for. So what I'm going to do is just completely set him down on those because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do the bars and then we'll we'll finish <clears throat> doing the the top of him and kind of down the sides and then we'll do the blue and then we'll do his ear mark and then we got to darken his face so but anyway I'll show y'all how to, <clears throat> we'll, we'll do all that, but, um, so we need our sepia, and on the sepia, we don't want these bars to be super dark, so, we want them to kind of fade just a little bit, so. Yeah, I have a white sheet. Or white. Air compressor's done. So now, and this is the stencil from Insane Custom Stencils. It's the SBS2 Bluegill Bar Stencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to match. Instead of matching the eye, I'm going to match the, the ear to this and then we're gonna spray back here and adjust it. That's kind of what we're wanting. Just not super dark. We're going to do some blending downy. Then we'll match this. 
So. That one, for some reason, kind of went crooked on me. That's alright. It's not going to hurt him any. But anyway, that's what we're wanting right there. So anyway, we're going to flip him over and we're going to do the other side of him. Then we're going to match that earpiece up. I need to look at this other side. Alright. See where. There we go. There. Yeah, that's what we're wanting. Just like that. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So, there's that. Which I'd like to keep the sepia in. Which I think we can. I think we can go ahead and do this. So. Let me get it to where it'll spray. There we go. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down his back. And what I did is I took and put a couple of drops of. I gotta find that sweet spot on that air pressure. Since I thinned it out. But I thinned out that sepia because we're gonna, we don't want, 
the sides as dark. been rainy here for three three days or so so kind of jacking with stuff but anyway trying to get the very edge of the very top of him just a little bit dark so that's kind of how he is on the picture but then right down towards the lateral line, we don't want that very dark at all. Just kind of something like that. So we'll take flip this over. And then I'm going to run along just the top part of his back a few times. Just to darken that up. Just like that, give him that look. Then we're just gonna take real light sepia and do down to where his lighter line should be. That way it kind of gives him that look. You can see it's kind of a little bit darker than the rest, but not as dark as his back. Kind of gives him that good tone to now I took and loaded some um, wicked you can't really read that hardly detail moss green 0059 I think that's what it is but anyway and then we're gonna take and just real lightly go over his back and that'll kind of darken it up a little Then just real wide along the sides. Then we're going to do around this gill plate. That's kind of how we want him to look right now. So. Let me clean this moss green out. Then we're going to load sepia back in and we're going to work on his gill plate. Because there's sections of his gill plates that are real dark. So. We'll load this sepia. Alright, get all the water out of my airbrush. Alright, now we're going to take and just right in there where that gill plate does its split, we're going to darken that up really good. To where it, it, I don't know if y'all can see that, where it looks like that. Then what we're going to do 
They just kind of just kind of hit a couple of spots. But we want that green to come through still too. So just kind of like that. Give him that look. So we'll do this other side. And that kind of gives him some detail and realism to him. That way you can kind of have some light and spots, dark spots on that old head of his. That's how we want him, just like that. So, clean this out real quick. y'all been doing real well it's been like a month i mean i posted some shorts um of the of one of the wooden baits that i built this winter but anyway we're gonna take this i didn't even show y'all <laughs> um we're gonna take this is apple barrel and it is aqua sky blue and that's what i use for the gill plates for the bluegill. So we're gonna spray this on his gill plate. Nothing super heavy, but just like that. So. And then always wipe your stencil off. Remember, always wipe your stencil off before you flip it over. And we're gonna flip it over. And then we're going to spray this gill plate. Then it shoots a blob out. But anyway, that's how we want his gill plate. We almost got this one knocked out. So anyway, yep, that's how he's starting to come together. So I'll clean this out and be. So then we're gonna take and we're gonna load this um, wicked, wicked black zero 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 two. We're gonna load a couple of drops in the wear brush, and always remember just clean your tops of your paint bottles off. Cause you don't want that in your airbrush because it will plug up your airbrush sometimes i have to stick stuff down in there to get it all out but anyway because yeah that's the worst plug of them all is to get that plugged up in your airbrush and always spray test it when you put it in because you don't want to blow a big blob of because your airbrush holds water after you clean it out or liquid whatever you use your cleaner or whatever and it'll always blow a big blob out so you know you always want to spray it before you when you change colors you always want to spray it first before you try to spray it on your bait so now we're gonna do his earmarks so we're just gonna line this up And then then sometimes you I'll move it down because this isn't quite big enough for this ear. 
so then we'll do it just like that it looks pretty good right there so we'll turn him around then wipe this off then we'll do this here mark on this here That black always hardest color there is to spray. Get both sides to match because yeah I'll do this side just a little bit more that way get that old earmark like that I do see, I did not get the top of that though. There, now we got it. There it is. I may have to, yep, I have to do that to this side too because I didn't get the top of the earmark. There we go. Well, all right. And there he is, guys. There's a bluegill pattern that you don't see very many people paint at all. So, he's not, not a hard pattern to paint. Some of the others that I paint are probably harder than this one. This black. Always make sure you get that black cleaned out really good. And I just bent my needle. Get that sucker straightened back out. Yeah. 
And if you bend them, you can straighten them back out. So, it's not the end of the world. So, I bend my needles all the time. I've been enough of them, I know how to straighten them back out, so, which is a good thing. And I can tell by the spray if it's straight or not. So, and that's not quite straight yet. That might have got it. Yep, there it is. Wow. There we go. Yep, there we go. Now we got it. <sighs> but anyway, I do that every once in a while. I've been painting forever. But anyway, there's this bluegill. A little bit different bluegill. But that that's how he's supposed to look. So, like I said, I'll post a picture for my um for my um wow i just went blank um i'll post a picture of the real bluegill um wow it'll be what you see whenever you see the video it'll be that'll be the it'll be the picture of this one but it'll be the picture of the real bluegill to paint this pattern so but anyway that's how you paint that pattern and it looks really really good i really like it i may have to paint one of these patterns for me and fish around here and see if fish will actually hit this one i mean we have a lot of bluegills in these lakes over here where i fish and i mean they're just they're all so many different colors i hadn't seen one like this one but I hadn't ever caught one like this one, but I mean, they're just, they're, they're all colored, all pretty, and we have some beautiful ones, but anyway, so I'll do this video and probably post it, today's the, mm, today's the 13th, I think, but anyway, no, the 14th. Yeah, the 14th, I think. But I'll probably post it tomorrow night or something. So anyway, be looking for this video. But And then look for the next ones to come on the perch pattern and then on a bluegill pattern. But anyway, hope y'all are all doing good. And y'all keep subscribing and liking the videos. And I'll keep putting them out. And look for the next few videos the rest of this week. Thank y'all.